All right, I've got a pair of very cool, very special watches to show you guys today. Spinnaker has just announced another collaboration with French artist Second Second. They did this last year around Halloween time. This is the 50 Phantoms edition of their Spinnaker Fluce dive watch. And as you can guess from the title, this thing has so many cool little inside jokes tied to it. It is one of the most fun watches that I've ever seen, or actually there's two, there's two different versions of it. So two of the funnest watches that I've ever seen. We'll talk a little bit more about who Second Second is as we get into the unboxing and review because we're definitely going to do an unboxing here. But he is a French watch artist, so he's somebody who is deeply in the know when it comes to watches, and he has a brilliant sense of humor. Now, if you order one of these watches, you're not just going to get the watch. They've got some really cool extras thrown in, too. So we're going to start with an unboxing, and then we'll get into all of the cool little Easter eggs that are tied into this watch. Let's take a look. So Spinnaker did the same collaboration last year and it sold out really quickly. And you can see already the first extra goodies that we're getting when we open this up. It comes with a hat. This has the 50 Phantoms logo on it. Very nice hat, Velcro back. And then you've got all these little ghosts that we're gonna see a lot more of in just a second here. And the coolest thing about this hat is that these uh, these numbers are actually loomed. So I'll show you them in. Let's get the hat out, or let's get the watch out, and then we'll uh, we'll take a look more at the uh, the hat in just a second. Okay, so in here we have the actual watch and still a few other goodies. And, uh, and second, second. So that's the artist that's doing this. He's kind of, uh, becoming popular in the, uh, in the watch community. He just did a collaboration with Christopher Ward not too long ago, uh, that was extremely popular, sold out very quickly. Uh, again, this is the second collaboration he's done with Spinnaker. And sort of his thing is that he got sort of started by taking vintage watches and, uh, kind of messing with them, sort of making them a little bit more fun. Essentially, he would kind of graffiti uh, the watches. So some people have kind of called him the Banksy of the watch world. And here we have it. This is the 50 Phantoms, one of the two editions that you can get. Uh, you've got some more extras in here. Uh, when I first opened it, I was kind of thrown for a loop about this lanyard. I wasn't sure what this is for, but then I looked in a little bit more, and we'll see that in just a second. You get your standard warranty cards and a instruction book that actually is uh, is designed for this. So this, as you can see, is based off of the Fluce, which is one of Spinnaker's longest running lines. It is a uh, a Blancpain 50 Fathoms kind of homage. So I actually have the original version of the Fluce here. This is one of the uh, first watches. I, this is the first watch I ever got from Spinnaker. I still have it. I like it. Uh, this is the 40 millimeter version of the Fluce. And there's been a lot of upgrades, a lot of upgrades in just the Fluce line since this one uh, has a sapphire crystal. This particular one has a Miyota 9000 series movement inside of it. So the Fluce is clearly a 50 fathoms homage. Uh, that was the clear inspiration when they originally did this. So it makes a lot of sense. Uh, then you know that's kind of where they got the whole idea of the 50 phantoms. Uh, collab for this. So this one has 50 ghosts on the dial on this particular version here. And it's got a whole bunch of other fun little Easter eggs that we're going to go through in just a second. But, go but going back to the artist second second for just a second, uh, he kind of got his start by taking vintage watches, these things that are very serious and well regarded in the watch community. And what he would do is he would take the second hand off, he would modify them and he would put some kind of uh, some piece of pop culture, uh, something fun on there. And you just have this wonderful juxtaposition of, again, this very serious classic watch, like a classic Rolex or a classic Omega, and then some bright, fun, cartoony seconds hand that's just spinning around, totally changing it up. Uh, and that really caught on. So he's a guy who really understands watches, really appreciates watches. And so when he does a collab like this with, uh, with a brand like Spinnaker, um, there's just so many little inside jokes on here. In addition, I mean, like just the idea of the 50 phantoms instead of the 50 fathoms, that's, that's fun. That's clever. Uh, but he took it to just a completely another, just a whole different level. Um, 
so yeah, we'll, we'll get into all the uh, the fun Easter eggs in here in just a second. Let's finish going through what else you get in the package because uh, there's some other fun stuff. Uh, you're getting the watch, obviously. Let me set this down there. Uh, you are, as you can see, getting a cool uh, second watch band. So you get a, le it comes on a leather strap, but then it's also coming with this rubber strap. Uh, custom rubber strap. You can see that it kind of has those little ghost eyes on that as well. So it's following the theme there. And then if you look underneath the strap, there's one more thing. This is what the lanyard's for. So this is a UV light, which is super cool because a lot of this watch uh, only comes to uh, comes to light in the dark. It's uh, based around loom, and so there's a lot of fun stuff, and there's one little Easter egg that you have to have a UV light to actually even see. So they kind of packaged it with this cool little UV light here. It apparently takes one AAA battery. So yeah, one AAA battery, and you've got a pretty cool little portable UV light to charge your loom. This is, I mean, this is a great little gadget to have, you know, with, uh, with any of your watches. But again, we'll use this in a second to show some other stuff with uh, this particular watch. Uh, and then finally you get the custom box. So it's got this cool little insert uh, that sort of highlights the second second collaboration there. Okay, so let's zoom in a little bit and start taking a look at some of the uh, the Easter eggs that are in this watch. So first off, you can see the custom dial here. In this case, this is the, uh, the 50 Phantoms version. The other one is called the No Apparitions or the No App version. We'll get to that in just a second, but let's finish taking a look at this one first. Uh, so you can notice a couple of things. Uh, the kind of basis of this watch is a very classy looking, uh, again, kind of Blanc Pond style, 50 Fathoms inspired design. You've got the big diamond at 12 o'clock, the diamond shaped bezel. A uh, color scheme here though, you get kind of a purple color on the bezel and the strap. And then on this one, you're getting orange uh, loom. So orange uh, paint on the hands and markers. This is going to hurt the longevity here, but it kind of fits the Halloween theme and the color scheme. Uh, you don't see orange tinted loom that often. Uh, we'll get all of this glowing in a second. Um, but a couple other things on the dial, you'll notice down here it says 50 phantoms. For the water resistance, they, they got this noted now as two meters slash six feet, um, obviously a reference to being six feet under, uh, which is how deep they dig graves, at least in Western countries. Flipping the watch over, uh, we have a case back sticker that I haven't removed yet, but they've done a custom rotor and you can see the, you know, very pretty nicely finished Miyota 9039 uh, no date movement. So this is a no date watch. Uh, so there is no ghost date here. And initially, I thought that was a big missed opportunity. If I was going to do this, I totally would have, for this one watch, uh, thrown in a watch that has a date position and made a watch with a ghost date. I thought that would be appropriate. But they thought of that too. We'll get to that in a second. Um, but anyways, back to the movement. You've got a custom case back with the little ghost hanging out in the middle of it. And then the rotor itself is actually uh, shaped like a guillotine that looks like it's been recently used. It says that it is a proprietary horror rotor technology on it. Um, again, another clever nod. Uh, you can see on the case back that this does have more than uh, two meters of water resistance. Uh, it has 150 meters of water resistance, which is standard across the Fluce line. If we look at the buckle on the, uh, the watch here, see another fun little Easter egg underneath it says boo. So the ghosts are scaring you there. And there'll be a few more uh, Easter eggs to check out when we get this one uh, loomed up and taking a look at it after dark. You'll see some other really cool things that come up. First, let's switch over and take a look at the second uh, version of this watch because they did kind of a completely different uh, idea on that one. So this one is called the No App version. If you look really closely, you see uh, on this one, there are no ghosts on the dial of the watch. In fact, in this case, they've all been moved. The 50 phantoms have been moved out to the, uh, to the bezel this time. 
Uh, so this one actually is a lot easier to read. It's a much cleaner watch. If you're looking for legibility, uh, if you if you kind of want something that is both fun and functional instead of just pure fun, this might be the better way to go. Uh, what they've got down here, so they've got a ghost crossed out and then it says no apparitions on it. This is a reference to vintage uh, Blanc Pond 50 Fathoms watches uh, that used to have a marking saying there was no radiation on the dial to indicate that they were not using radium, they weren't using radioactive loom, uh, which people came to found out what find out was dangerous. Uh, and so they would mark that on the dial of the watch so people would feel safe purchasing that one. Uh, in this case, they've taken that no radiation marking, they've changed it to a no apparitions marking, and you can see that the dial has been cleansed of all uh, the ghosts. They've all been scattered to the dial of the, or to the bezel of the watch. They're running away. They're crowded out there. Uh, and you've got that. Now, Spinnaker did give me both of these watches to keep, which is why you saw the paid promotions flag at the beginning of this video. However, as always, I did not receive any additional compensation beyond the watches, nor did Spinnaker have any control over the content of this review. Okay, let's get on to the loom because that's what I think is one of the most spectacular parts of this whole watch. They've done an amazing uh, job there with the, the different ways they've used loom. We'll see that next. And then we'll also check out the loomed hat as well. So things start getting really cool once the lights go out. You can see that they are using a number of different loom formulations here. You've got different colors of loom, different glows. You see some shades of green and blue, which is fairly typical, but then something that's somewhat unusual is that you're also getting some orange or yellowish glowing loom. This not only fits well with the Halloween theme, but also looks really cool in the dark. The use of different loom colors on the 50 Phantoms version helps to distinguish each ghost from the other. With all this going on, it's not going to be the most legible, but you do get a contrasting orange glow on the hands, which actually does kind of make them somewhat easy to pick out against the chaos going on behind them. Switching over to the No Apparitions version, you get a much cleaner dial layout. They still did two different colors of loom on the hands and the markers. The hands have a greenish yellow glow, while the marker is a little bit more of a blue tone. But surprisingly, that little ghost-shaped No Apparitions logo is also Loom, so that glows a yellowish color in the dark. But the definite highlight on the No Apparitions version is that bezel with all the ghosts crowded around it as each ghost is once again individually loomed, also using different colors of Loom. And it's just so much fun seeing all of this lit up in the dark. That said, the brightness and the longevity of this loom is not going to be on par with what you would get from a high-powered dive watch. It's technically difficult to get loom plots and hands to glow extremely brightly and to last for a long time. And Spinnaker and Second Second had obviously gone for a more playful approach, both in the selection of colors for the loom formulations and in the choice to loom individual unique shapes like these ghosts. And that's why it's really appreciated that they include that UV light because you're going to want to be continually recharging this to kind of show off the glow again and again. So this is a great add-on that you can easily carry around with you if you want to charge it up and show it off at a party or something. Now, in addition to the bezel and the hands and the markers, there's two other cool little loom tricks in the dark. First is that on the leather strap, those threads are actually loomed as well. That's cool, but they're very faintly loomed. Glow-in-the-dark string is apparently a difficult thing to make, but it's cool that they tried to do it, and I've never seen it done before, so this is another fun trick. The last After Dark Party trick has to do with the ghost date position that I was hinting at earlier. These watches use a Miyota 9039 no-date movement, so they do not have the capability of displaying the current date, but they still have a ghost date. When you hit the dial with a UV light on either of the two watches, you'll see that there is a printed fake date at the 430 position. This date is permanently set to the 31st, so I guess seven times a year it will display the correct date, including on Halloween night. All right, the final piece of loom that we want to check out is the loom on the included hat. Let's see if we can get that thing glowing. All right, check that out. How cool is that? So you've got glow-in-the-dark loom on the, uh, on the hat itself. So this is the 50 Phantoms logo, it's number 50. And you know, it's it, you, it doesn't glow very brightly. I've got my lighting set up very specifically so you can see this and I've fully charged it with a, uh, with a black light, but it does glow and it is the best glowing hat that I've ever had. On top of that, it feels like a nice hat. So pretty cool bonus in my opinion. Okay, before we wrap this up, I do want to give you guys a quick overview of the watch and just talk a little bit about the uh, the watch itself. So this is a fully specced out watch. You get a sapphire crystal. 
you can see that the sapphire crystal does have some anti-reflective coating, which is a nice touch. The bezel insert here is mineral crystal, so it's hardened glass. Uh, so it is going to scratch easier than the sapphire is, but you know, I, that's not too big a deal for me. You're getting 150 meters of water resistance and inside, again, the really solid Miyota 9039 automatic movement. Uh, this is a movement that has a very smooth sweeping seconds hand. You can see that beating away at eight ticks per second. So even though this is a really fun watch, it is also a pretty high quality watch with very nice components. And at this 40 millimeter diameter size, it's very wearable. So you can see I have a seven and a half inch wrist and this fits me very comfortably. The leather band is a little bit stiff, feels like it's gonna take a little bit of time to break in, but it's not bad at all. Overall, pretty solid feeling, pretty high quality band. And again, a nice color to match the dial of the watch. This is the no apparitions version right here. Let me show you guys the bezel action. So as you can see, bezel action is good, very solid. Absolutely no problems there. Okay, let's take the 50 Phantoms dial version and swap that one over to the rubber strap and take a look at that. Again, these have quick release spring bars, so that's gonna make strap changes very easy. And the rubber strap here, it feels like a pretty nice rubber strap. It's not like a kind of cheaper silicone strap. And I like the texturing. I like the details on this strap. Again, it's not just like a kind of like a throwaway extra. It is uh, really cohesive and custom to the package. Um, very interesting texturing on the sides of it. I don't think I've seen a strap quite like this. Underside has these rivets. Again, you're getting the custom buckle with the fun little message and the little ghost eyes on the keeper. Uh, and this is a very thick, substantial strap that feels very supple as well. Strap length is good for me on my seven and a half inch wrist. It's pretty long. Looks like it's gonna uh, accommodate a pretty wide range of wrist sizes. This one also does feel pretty uh, substantial. It's not immediately conforming to my wrist, but I think you know with some wear, it'll probably get there without too much trouble. Anyways, both of these are super fun Halloween watches. And again, it, it, last year they sold out very quickly, so it's great that this year they have not gone with a limited run. Instead, they're going with basically an unlimited one. If you want to buy one, you can buy one. Uh, but I think, but again, they're, they're only gonna be available for purchase for a limited time. You are still best off getting one quickly because the initial batch of 888, that's gonna be delivered fairly shortly. I don't know if it'll get here in time for Halloween, uh, but the next batch, I think, if so, if, if you miss the, the first batch, uh, I think the second batch isn't gonna be delivered until March. So that definitely is not gonna hit uh, in time for Halloween. Um, either way, super cool watch, super fun collaboration. Again, it's just so cool to see a watch with these kinds of inside watch jokes that really only watch nerds are gonna get. And I think both Spinnaker and Second Second really knocked it out of the park with these ones. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this collaboration. Again, I believe these are going to go live for pre-order on October 25th, direct from Spinnaker's website. There's, an, there's gonna be an initial run of 888 of each version. And if you don't get in in the first 888, they will do a second run. These will have different markings on the case back, but other than that, everything else will be the same. So everybody who wants one will be able to get one if you order during the pre-order time. So it's not limited in the number they're gonna make, it's just limited in the time frame that they're taking the orders. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.